Rachel Scott tonight. Thank you. To Capitol Hill in the first congressional hearing in half a century on what the military calls unidentified aerial phenomena, what the rest of us call UFOs, and hundreds of military encounters still unexplained tonight. Here's Terry Moran. The military calls them unidentified aerial phenomena, UFOs in other words. Oh my God. They've mystified us for decades, but they also may be a real national security concern. Today, a House Intelligence Subcommittee held the first congressional hearing on these close encounters in more than half a century. We want to know what's out there as much as you want to know what's out there. Pentagon officials now say there have been close to 400 military encounters with things in the sky they cannot currently explain. That's up from 144 reported last year. Pentagon officials avoided speculation, but admitted how baffling this uh, is. I, I can't point to something that definitively was not uh, man-made, but I can point to a number of examples in which remain unresolved. Some incidents have been debunked, like this famous so-called pyramid video leaked in 2021. Oh, this is close. Officials couldn't explain it at the time, but they now say it's drones in the sky, distorted by a night vision lens to look like flying pyramids. The Pentagon says it wants to destigmatize the whole issue of these UFOs in order to encourage more pilots and other military personnel to report whatever it is they're seeing in the skies above America. David? Really fascinating. Terry Moran in Washington. Terry, thank you. To the war